What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. In our last video, our top comment was from Lust, saying that he wants us to get the Lapa done on Firebase C with no Iron Sights and no Quick Revive. So that's what we're we'll doing today. All right, so we have our Lapa level 50 here. Shout out to those of you that came by the Twitch stream to see me get it leveled up. It took way too long. But uh, for our Optic, obviously, we're not choosing anything because we need to keep it on Iron Sight per the request. For our Muzzle, though, I'm going to go with the SOCOM Eliminator. For the Barrel, does not have the traditional barrels like Task Force, but we do have the Cavalry Land answer barrel which i'm gonna throw on here and make a class for but to start i think i'm gonna go with the br compact barrel well let's see here six percent damage increase 12 percent horizontal recoil control this one's three percent damage increase with plus four fire rate hmm I think I'm gonna go with a light tactical for now, but I will come back and make a class with the Cavalry Lancer Barrel and save a custom mod so when we get into those higher rounds, we have a lot better chance of taking out those armored zombies. For our body attachment, I'm gonna go with the Ember Sighting Point. Under Barrel, of course, gotta go with the Bruiser Grip. Magazine, uh, we did, unfortunately don't have the largest fast mag unlock, so I'm gonna go with the next best thing and just use the largest mag. For our handle, I'm going with Speed Tape and for the stock, SAS combat stock. And for the first time in a while, we have absolutely no camos to get with this. I leveled it up entirely in multiplayer just so we could get every single camo with it. And let's go ahead and throw on our ball sack onto our Lapa. Also, our fill look great today, we're gonna be using Ring of Fire. But let's go ahead, save a custom mod for this. We'll say this is this is our early round build. And we'll go ahead and throw on the Cavalry Lancer. Save this one as our late round build. Well, let's go ahead, hop on Firebase C and see if we can get this thing done. All right, here we go. Driving on in. This should be interesting. Now we can't use Quick Revive at all, so I'm not gonna be able to use this machine for anything but its loose change. I have no idea how this is gonna go. First of all, we're using Iron Sights only. That one I'm not too concerned about because we do lean heavily on Deadshot here, but we should be okay. I mean, right now it's kind of awful. Look at these Iron Sights. You see nothing through these. You have to line it up so perfectly. There's a zombie in this area. I can just barely see them. These iron sights are disgusting. But I just gotta really hope I don't go down. And if I do, I need to self-revive. Or I guess we could put tombstone to use. You know, make it useful for once. But I think that just might be our only option to get back up. Let's go ahead and open this and head on through our portal. But I'm really glad that we have our super Easter egg done or our super Easter egg. Uh, we have the reward for completing all the main quests, which is getting our weapon purple tier. I see a lot of people asking how we have purple tier. And that's how. You just have to complete all the main quest Easter eggs. And if you want to watch those, uh, I do have a whole playlist of them, or at least I should. I don't remember, actually. But the first time we got this done was one of our most popular Dark Aether videos that we've ever put out. And the entire time, I was mispronouncing it as the Lupa. I, I don't know what it was. I spent the whole day getting it leveled up and everything and still never learned the name. I think it's because I was using, like, the bundle blueprint for it instead of like having it unlocked. So I just called it the Lupa the whole time. Uh, shout out to those of you that remember that or were around for that era. But uh, you know, I got it now. I'm experienced, you know, I've, I've learned. I <laughs> know it's not the Lupa now. As much as I would just want to call it Lupus, it is not. And we're too broke to open this door. But I don't remember if we've ever used this against Orda. So that should be interesting to see how it does against him. You know, with me using the weapon, it should just slay him. But, you know, some SMGs have some crazy damage fall off at range. And depending on what barrel we're using, and I'm assuming since it's going to be late round, we'll have our late round barrel on it. It might not do enough to take him out, but we'll see. With Ring of Fire, I'm sure we'll be able to manage. But now we just need enough money to get through this door. I think we have enough. Let's open it up. Grind the rail. Ooh, clean. Grab this loose change, and we're still a little too broke to be able to turn on our reactor, unfortunately. Zombies, give me money. We still don't have enough. Is there a barrier I can rebuild or something? Oh, this one. Give me money, give me money, give me money. Almost. We're very close. Okay, let's just take out these guys, and now let's go start it up. Grind the rail one more time. Clean. There we go. Reactor started. There's our first camo of the day. Corrosion camo. Ooh, we're getting a jackrabbit as our first one. And our reactor is done. Let's move on to the next. Shut your fucking mouth, Peck. Oh, no, that's Weaver. My bad, Weaver. Apologies. Now shut up. Get reactor number two going. Let's grab our loose change. Please lay down. There we go. Of course, double points on the second to last zombie of the round. Love to see it. Come on. Zombie spawn in. Thank you. I need these guys to get here a little faster. Because if we finish the reactor with double points up. Oh, stroke camo. If we finish the reactor with double points up, I'm pretty sure we get a nice hefty bag. There we go. Finish it. Let's go. 2,000 points for that. Importantly, though, we got to nail this rail grind. No. I feel like I'm always bumping into this fence here, and it's killing mo my momentum every time I go for it. Let's do it right now. Okay, no, that one was on me. One more time. Clean. 
this open. Grab our loose change from here. And let's get our third and final reactor started. There's our acidic camo. Three or more crits rapidly. It's so crazy seeing these camos pop up again in round base. I always just see them while I'm leveling the gun up in outbreak. But now actually having it fully leveled after, you know, just getting it done in multiplayer, it's pretty cool to see everything again. Like there's Wasteland, our first crit camo, you know, outside of the three crits rapidly. But our third reactor is done. All right, thanks for powering on Pack Punch for me wrapping off, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab Deadshot first. That's my, my crutch perk and we'll get speed cola as well. Just gotta remember not to grab quick revive even if I go down and get back up. I do just panic buy everything at the Wonder Fist, but let's go ahead and get our free jug. Bunny, look at me now. Look at me, Hector. Last chance to look at me, Hector. Thank you. Breaking Bad reference. Now come here. Come to Papa. There you go. Go ahead. Do a little dance. Make a little nuv. Make a little nuv. I can't even get through the song reference right. How am I missing this bunny so much? Come here. Go down. It's these iron sights. I'm blaming the iron sights, honestly. There we go. We finally got it after three whole mags. That's awful. Okay, maybe the iron sights will have an influence today. There's our gunrunner camo. Bunny number two. I'm getting you first try. There we go. I was a little concerned that I was missing there. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder how long they let you stay in this area for. Like, if I just leave the bunny, do I do I stay here? I don't know. I don't want to find out. I kind of want that free perk. Check this out. I'm gonna guess the weapon we get. M60. Ooh, stoner. I was in the same class. Go, shout out weed. All right, send me home right now. Oh, I'm on it today. I think we might have enough to buy another perk. Let's see. Nope, we're broke. But I think what we're going to do is once we get Pack-A-Punch and we start getting our perks up, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Rampage Inducer. Maybe a little risky since we don't have Quick Revive. And not only does Quick Revive help us get back up, but it also helps us re like revitalize health faster. That's probably not the right word. Or maybe it is. Regen health faster is what I was looking for. As you can see, I have the English capabilities of a five-year-old, but maybe we'll attempt it. You know, add a little stakes to this. Okay, next we're going to grab not quick revive. No, no quick revive. Let's get a uh, death perception. Get our scrap up. And then also with that scrap, let's go ahead and start making some armor. There's our forecast camo. I forgot how fun it is on these really early rounds where you just see camos popping up left and right. And then there's a huge break once you get to like round 25 or something where you're not seeing any camos because everything's at at like 1500 kills and you need to get a thousand more oh my god i forgot how long it takes to get 2500 kills in a game that's gonna be rough but we have enough to pack a punch might as well do that get started on our pack a punch camos and let's go ahead and grab cryo freeze really quick this is what the lapa looks like with the first pack a punch camo here on firebase c not my favorite camo but it actually looks pretty decent on this you know the, the best part about these camos is that iridescent type metal that it goes on uh some of the accent parts of the gun and you see a lot of it here on the mag for the lapa which is nice but really quick i if you guys have been around the channel recently uh you've probably heard me talk about like me going on vacation soon and just want to reiterate me going on vacation does not mean there's not going to be content but i am or i was looking for ways to create content and get it done early uh prior to me leaving so i just don't have to do that much while i'm on vacation you know it can actually be a vacation but we're we're you know going through some ideas of maybe i should do like one weapon class maybe we should do like top three comments or something i think what i'm going to do is the melee weapons i think throughout the few weeks that i'm gone is i'm gonna get like a melee weapon done each week maybe even multiple if i'm feeling frisky but <laughs> i think we're just gonna do a few melee weapons so uh make sure you still leave our suggestions for what weapon you want to do us to do next because i still will do a few before i leave based off suggestions but also you know leave me what melee weapons you want to see and then when i go through and i edit these videos i'm gonna just like search like i could search the whole channel's comments and i could just search up that weapon and i'll just throw in a few comments of people mentioning that weapon so on top of your suggestions today make sure you leave uh you know some melee weapons that you like or you'd want to see but uh just to be clear i will probably have the videos recorded you know prior to you guys leaving those comments so i won't be able to do any specific challenges maybe i'll try to come up with some on my own but if i put your comment in the video and you had like some sort of challenge you didn't see me do uh i apologize anyways let's go ahead and stack up on some more perks let's get mule kicks so we don't have to worry about ammo and let's get stamina up so we can run a little faster what else does stamina up do no fall damage uh, i think i can use equipment while sprinting i can reload while sprinting it's fun seeing all the extra things that perks can do uh like once you get them leveled up in your skill tree like mule kick 
probably like one of my least favorite perks out there. I don't really care to have three guns unless they're all three wonder weapons because that would be fun. But with Mule Kick, the main reason I grab it every time is just because of the skill upgrade of it dropping or having a higher increase of it dropping ammo and the higher chance for you to keep any tacticals or lethals that you throw. I almost just went down there. That would have been bad. So like if I throw the stun, I have the chance to keep that stun in my inventory after I throw it. That didn't happen there, but it, there, there is always a chance. And then also, if I buy something from the crafting table here, I have a chance to get more than one of them. I can just get a buy one, get one, like easy. So I really like that. That's a nice addition to like the perk in the, the skill tree and everything to this game. And on top of that, there being no perk limit is just so much fun. There's our glacier camo. That's 250 kills with it. That's just 250 normal kills. We still need to get all the way up there with pack-a-punch and crits. Oh my god, this is going to take a while. All right, I think the last perk we can really need is PhD. And then after that, I guess we'll grab Tombstone just as, uh, you know, a fail safe if we end up going down. But then I'm just going to focus on getting my armor up, getting our pack-a-punch up, and then I'm going to turn on the Rampage Inducer. I think I'll wait till I have, like, armor 3 to do that. Oh, there's our Amphibian Camo, our first crit camo, or our first, like, milestone crit camo. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get back, stay back. Actually, the Lapa kind of tears right now. It is pack-a-punch, and it's tier 4 damage, so we're way, like... I guess over leveled you could call it for this round in zombies but it's fire rate and everything feels nice and also with it pack a punch we have a hundred rounds in the mag i was gonna say it's not the largest mag but it is the largest mag so that's pretty cool we get double our ammo capacity oh and we have our first assault wave honestly if there's a time to turn on the rampage inducer it's now while there's no zombies around so let's go ahead grab armor level three we can't get pack a punch or anything yet i'm gonna grab tombstone just because with our rampage inducer on it's gonna make it a lot more difficult you know, to stay alive. But we have about 20 seconds before zombies start spawning in here. So I'm going to hit this. And now they're going to be a lot faster and a lot meaner. Now, what beach is that? Oh, it's at Colonel's Beach. Perfect. So we can go right into Colonel's when we're done. Come on up, zombies. Run me your crits. Oh, easy. Come on. You guys can be better than that. There's our glitch camo. We're almost done with our jackrabbit medals. See you later, zombies. Nice knowing you. Hasta la vista. And that's it. We're already done with it. Grab these. And head on up to Colonel's. It's been a while since we grinded in there. What's up, gentlemen? Nice to see you again. Let's hit our, our ring of fire. Our first time using our field upgrade today. Oh, I'm home. I feel like in a few years when I come back to this game, like maybe I haven't played in a while or something, it's going to be so nostalgic just sitting here in Colonel's. I just hope that... Oh, there's our conviction camo. Cutting me off in the middle of my, my sentence. But I just hope that we don't get too many of the manglers getting stuck. Because that's the main reason whenever I'm on Firebase now that I go and I sit in a Weapons Lab. It is way more difficult in Weapons Lab. Way more dangerous. A lot less safe than Colonel's Office. But it's also much faster. Not only with spawns. But just with the mangler not getting stuck, it just, it makes a lot of sense to sit in there. So maybe if I feel like I'm getting too many stuck manglers, I'm going to go over to weapons lab. Also, did that zombie just like surf up the stairs? He just had crazy momentum going around that corner. So I'm just going to put it in stone right here. If we get two stuck manglers before Orda, I'm going to weapons lab. And then if I get too scared in weapons lab, I'll come back. All right, we have one zombie left here. I'm going to go ahead and go grab pack a punch too. And then once we get to our next assault wave, I'll go grab pack three. Ooh, hold on. Okay, so I've been thinking this for a while. First of all, let's grab pack two before I forget. Or I start talking in circles. I, I've been doing this for a while. Like, you've been, at least since I've been grinding melee weapons, I've been playing a lot of Nuketown. And then when I play Nuketown, when I've been going out of the window on the two buildings, I slide right when I hit the edge here of like anything. I've been sliding. I've also learned that from just playing Apex. See, look how far you can go. Just sliding at the end here. Okay. That's bullshit. Of course, when I'm talking about it, it doesn't happen. Commentator's curse. But if I can slide at the perfect time, you get so much more, like, distance. Okay, that time wasn't it either. But you saw the initial slide when I came down here. It was kind of crazy. Also, really quick, this is what pack two looks like on the Lapa. Definitely looks a lot, a lot better than pack one. I just wish they had a diff little different colors on the first pack co uh, camo. But this still looks pretty good. And now we're back to the grind. So far, so good. Our manglers are actually spawning where they're supposed to. Maybe they fixed it, but also there's our Funkadelic camo. And I think Vintage, the little Vintage category for like killing elites, or at least for SMGs, has some of the best looking camos outside of Mastery camos in this game. All right, there's our next 
assault wave round. I couldn't remember what it was called for some reason, but we do have enough for pack three. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it while we have this little bit of free time. I'm going to hit the slide this time. Let's go. That's what I was talking about. The super slide really quick. This is what pack one's three looks like on the lap A very beautiful camo that purple and pink really go together nicely. It just looks great on this gun. The coverage on this is going to be insane for dark aether too. All right. What's up zombies. You guys trying to knock out power or whatever? Oh, actually, why do they even know to go for that? They're just like, yeah, go attack that computer over there. And they're like, okay, don't matter to me. All you guys are just easy crits. There's our boutique camo. That's 12 special or elite. And that's our assault wave. Easy. Those are grudge camo, 750 kills. We just need about uh, double that and then double that again. We're in it for the long haul. Ooh, look at these mangler spawns today. They're blessing us. And getting our mana camo to round out our special or elites. Shout out these manglers for spawning right. And there's our boundary camo, 750 crits. Still so many to go. So many. Oh, and our pack of punches right behind our crits. The Lapa actually kind of tears. Now we're at a decent round. Maybe still a little overpowered for whatever round we're at. But so far, I have not even needed to use my Ring of Fire in this spot. Normally, your Ring of Fire is like a necessity. You know, you try to have it so like, you know, you're, you're timing it right. Like you're timing it when you need to reload. You know, and enable to survive like in whatever spot you're camo grinding at. But here, I have not had to use it. I've just been using it for fun, basically. So this thing could just like slap Orda's nuts off. Also, we do have enough blue salvage to upgrade this to gold. So let's give it one last upgrade. There we go. I almost shuffled my attachments on accident and now we're getting to the point where ring of fire might be useful because these zombies are starting to have more health than bullets i can dish out so having that unlimited ammo supply or that like unlimited mag would be great right about now but i can still kind of hold its own ring of fire is just a bonus oh there's our bloodshed camo 1500 kills now we just need a thousand more actual kills to get through our rotten looks like orda's hiding from us around 31 and he's not here he's running a little late had to change his pants after shitting him there's our drench camo 1500 kills with it while it's packed only a thousand away from getting this done and where are our crits at they can't be that far behind are they is it orda time it is baby let's go and we don't even have to go that far all right orda let's see how you hold up against the lapa i got a ring of fire here my weapon's fully leveled out to its max potential we don't have our late round barrel on it but we'll be able to test that on you later i'm pretty sure we'll get one more bout with you spawn right here open up oh damn i was way off come on down and the second he spawns in okay popping the ring of fire and i'm lighting him up um there we go 1300 damage i was kind of trying to find where he was at but it's looking like with ring of fire it maxes out at 1382 which is not amazing, but with its fire rate and the amount of bullets this thing has in it, we already got him down to basically half health. And this is still just the same ring of fire. So in one ring of fire, we can get him down to the O in his name. Maybe even lower if we can find where he's at faster. Well, let's go ahead, kill some of these zombies, get another ring of fire going. And also grab a few crits while we're at it. Might as well get some progress. Oh no, he's critting. How much does it do on his crit spot? I can't aim it. Oh, 1500? It's 1536 for a, a, you know, a raw dog shot on his crit. Raw dog meaning no ring of fire. Okay, we just need a few more kills here for another ring of fire. There we go. We got one. Let's pop it. See you later, Orta. You want to crit for me again so I can see what it's like with ring of fire? Or are you just going to die? Hold on. Let me stun these zombies. Later, Orta. See ya. Thanks for stopping by. Go ahead and yell because you're gone. That was so easy. Zombies, you want to give me a few extra crits while you're here? Yeah, I know you wanted to. Okay, that was pretty simple. But now I feel like we really, really need to switch this to our late round barrel. There we go. Those armored zombies are going to be an issue. But this thing kind of shredded them still. It doesn't have like a huge like damage per bullet ratio, but the amount this thing can spit out in the as fast as it can spit out the bullets, it kind of just demolishes them. Or just got no idea what happened to them. Oh, there's our threshold camo, 1500 crits. So we're at, oh, obviously 2,500 crits will be done. I'm an idiot. I'm so used to having like a specific amount of crits done or just like some random number of crits that I always have to check to see where I'm at when I get the camo. But if we're starting from nothing, obviously when I get the 2,500 crits, I'll be done. Now, these are the rounds we're not having quick revive is probably going to be start to become a problem because these zombies are having more and more health per round and they're just becoming bullet sponges. 
So if I don't got a ring of fire, I can easily get hit and not regen my health fast enough or just go down. If we don't want either one of those to happen. Make sure we're not getting slapped around over here. But our armor barrel is definitely helping out. We're cracking a lot of helmets over here. Like watch this heavy zombie. Deleted. Gone. Sleep. Mimics though. Mimics be just taking the most bullets to kill. You got to get stunned. Now get out of here. Okay. Maybe another stun. We're starting to get to the point where we need stuns. We got to time our ring of fires a little better. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's our first down. That's not good. Now do we tombstone here or do we self revive? If we tombstone, we have the chance of just dying. We have 2000 blue salvage. I'm self reviving. We got plenty. I don't trust tombstone. Tombstone's there as a last resort. I don't ever want to put my game chances on tombstone. Go ahead and grab our self revive back. There we go. Hop through our portal and let's try to buy our perks back. Can't buy quick revive. Got to remember. So I'm going around it. Oh, I accidentally grabbed the elemental pop. Shit. That's just going to slow down the camel grinding process. But, you know, it actually might help out here. Since we do have very slow health regen compared to what we would have with Quick Revive, that Electric Cherry might just save us a bit. So maybe it wasn't such a bad idea. I mean, we are on round 37 and we could use a little help here. Now, Brain Rot's over here stealing all my kills. He's just slapping all the zombies before they can come up the stairs. I'm getting no crits. Oh, no, we're not going down again. I'm throwing stuns till the sun comes up. I don't know. There's too much going on for me to find something funny to say. Uh-oh. We got our first stuck mangler. Oh, Mimic, come on. Don't try to block us. Sit down. I am very proud to say it took until round 39 for the mangler to get stuck, but the glitch still happens where he gets stuck over here. Kind of dumb. No, why do nukes always have to drop in the middle of my ring of fire? That's pointless. Such a waste. Now Order's going to show up next round, and I'm not going to have a ring of fire to go against them. Is it Order round next round? Oh, it's not. We have time. Okay, so we can still regain our ring of fire. I want to be able to hang on to one to use against Order right when he gets here. Oh, there's our rotten camo. All done with our normal kills. I just want to make sure that we can do as much damage to Orda as fast as possible. That way we can test out this other barrel against him. Okay, we have a ring of fire. I'm saving it. It's got your name written on it, Orda. We're getting through this round without it. And our last zombies does Mangler. Get out of here. Scram. See you later. No Orda still? Now he's playing mind games with me. He wants me to save these Ring of Fire, so I die before I even get to him. I'm using all my stuns just to avoid using my Ring of Fire. Orda's not getting the satisfaction. Joe, Orda's not real. He's a he's an NPC in a game. Whatever, dude. He's real to me. There we go. There's Orda. See, I saved it just for you, pal. I'm coming. Oh, do we get the... Oh, we do. We get the beach with the awning or the nice little patio porch deck, whatever you want to call it. We can sit right here and just wait for him. He's right... He's going to spawn right there. Nope. I'm way off again. All right, come on down, Orda. I'm going to wait to see where you go before I start shooting. There he is. Popping the ring of fire. Let's get this thing back up. So this barrel's max damage seems to be about the same, 1324. I think it might've been 1336 for our other one, but this is still pretty good. Get a nice clear view of them. The fire rate is definitely slower with this barrel and the damage is less, but it still does pretty good against them. Maybe definitely not as good as the other barrel actually. Last time we had him over the O. Again, this is round 40 Orda and not round 30, but I think we would see better performance with the other one. Uh-oh. We got zombies up here now. Fuck off. Stay away. On Orda's critting. Don't make me miss that. It does 1,400 to his crit spot. Raw. This one might be a little tougher. Oh, no. Did they already take out our Aether thing? Hold on. I'm fumbling. Let's just get another Ring of Fire back. Protect our protect our power. And then we'll work on Orda. I think he's getting pretty close. We gotta nade some of these bad boys. There we go. We have another Ring of Fire. It's time to just go up there and use it. Because he's getting way too close for comfort. Okay, popping it. Come on, Orda. Why don't you take a seat for me? Okay, we're getting them low. Go ahead, crit. Use your crit spot. I know you want to. There it is. 2,600 damage with Ring of Fire in the crit. Please don't knock me, zombies. I'm in the middle of something. Hey, fuck off is what I said. Oh, damn. Gotta use our self-revive. We're no longer gonna get that dead shot bonus. Oh, we are. Because we still have dead shot. Oh, no. This is cutting it real close. Oh, we got him. Barely. Whew. I started to get scared there because in the middle of shooting at him, I was realizing we don't have a self-revive and since we went down, we don't have tombstone to be able to get back up. That could have been our game right there, but we just barely got through with it. And now we need to somehow get our perks back and get our self-revive back before we start getting hounded. So first things first, I'm grabbing the self-revive. And what do we do now? How am I supposed to get my perks back? Oh, this is tough. I think I might have to grab my perks, 
hit the cruise missile, have all the zombies disperse away from me, and then I'll be fine. So let's grab everything besides quick revive. There we go. Hit the cruise missile, please. There we go. All the zombies are going away. I'm just going to send the cruise missile way out here. Now let's loop up the stairs, back around, jumping down. All right, we made it. We did it. I was really concerned I was going to accidentally buy a uh, quick revive there. But we made it through. We didn't do it. We didn't break the challenge. We also don't have any armor and very little ammo because I did not grab that carpenter and that max ammo at the end of Orda's round. I had to rush to go get those perks back. Oh, there's our chemical camo. 2,500 kills with it packed. Not bad. Oh, please don't knock me here. We need to leave, actually. It is not safe. Fuck. I should have left a lot sooner. All right. Now, what do I do? Let's, uh, let's crawl for a second here. I'm gonna crawl this way. Oh, brain rot going in over here. Taking out all the zombies. Maybe not doing anything. Let's self-revive. Jump over the railing. We're heading this way. These two zombies need to go. Okay, now this is where the challenge gets tough. It's deceivingly easy until we get to here. I'm gonna grab tombstone real quick, just in case. Ooh. Stay back. Yeah, once we hit into the, the real big boy rounds, no quick revive scary. We might just have to try to survive this round without our perks. Like, I'm just gonna have to go ring a fire up over here. Okay, ring a fire. Please stay back. We got no armor, no stuns. Once this ring of fire is out, we need to run. Okay, ring of fire is gone. And we need to be gone too. Right now. Let's dip out. Oof. We took a lot of damage to jump out that window. Okay, we're only 300 crits away. And if we die here, we're gonna have to play until like round 20 in our next game to even get that many crits back. So dying is not an option for me. I don't want to. We have to open a few doors. We're just gonna have to train. They're already kind of trained up from chasing us. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Big uh-oh. Woo! Staying alive. Barely. God, that was dangerous. Okay, we're very close to another ring of fire. There we go. Please let me survive this round, but also leave a zombie. We should be good. We should be fine. We're all right. We're making it. We might have a stuck mangler and it might actually help us out here. The thing we were complaining about is is our sal is our salvation. My my speech just gets worse, worse and worse by the day. See, I'm even stuttering talking about it. Whew. Well, thanks to the, our, our blocked mangler, we can safely get our perks back. Okay, right, let's grab everything that isn't quick revive again. Is he stuck up here too? I've never seen him get stuck over here. Let's just grab our armor. Can we wall bang him? No. Way back there. There's no way for me to shoot him. I've never seen him get stuck right there. That's a, that's a first for me. I played this map probably more than anybody ever has. But we can grab our self-revive back. We already grabbed our stuns. Maybe when we go back to the portal, he'll switch spots and to a spot where we can kill him easier when he's stuck. Oh, here we go. You gonna move like a normal zombie? Yeah. There you go. All right, now we can get back to our grinding. We're only 10 rounds away from finishing the Rampage Inducer, too. This is taking a bit. I, I was not expecting this challenge to be a challenge at all. I'm not going to lie. No disrespect. I was like, eh, that's pretty easy. We can get rid of, like, you know, two things. It has been a chore in these late rounds. That was a nice sneaky challenge. I'm not going to lie. You don't realize how much Quick Revive helps till you don't have it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ring of Fire, please don't knock me. No! All right, self-reviving while Ring of Fire is going. We'll just stand in it. We'll take it. We'll try to rough it out over here. Okay, there's not that many zombies left. We can get our perks back. We've been down four times so far this game. Kind of ridiculous. No, we went down again. Good thing I grabbed a self-revive before I went through that portal or our game would have ended right there. Only 60 crits away from being done too. Holy shit. Okay, hit that self-revive. Grab Tombstone back first, just in case. We got everything but Quick Revive. Get rid of these zombies real quick. Mangler, if you could please uh, do me the honor of fucking off. Thanks. Yeah, our self-revive is back. I need armor, so I'm gonna grab that real quick. And we'll reset up again for like the 800th time. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh Not again, not again, not again. I'm leaving. I'm out, okay? Zombies, you... I said you win! Oh, I was about to at least. Now I'm sitting here down in the window with Cold Viper! Let's go. We made it out. Maybe we should actually just die right here. Or I can go for the save with Tombstone and see if we would have survived with Tombstone. Let's pretend we don't have a self-revive right now because we already got Gold Viper. I don't care if we die. Tombstone, baby. Let's get it. Okay. Can we make it back to our body? Can we get back up? They're not blocking the bridge, which is good. Oh, actually, this might be like way too easy. Hold on. We'll head through here. Kill one zombie. I can't revive myself if I'm in the window. Oh, yeah. So we definitely would have died there. Seven downs. Dang. So that was way more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. That was insane. We got out literally one kill above what we needed. We need 2,500 crits and we got 2,501. That is insane. All right, let's take a look at these camos. As you can see, we did get every single camo 
for the Lapa in that one game. Kind of crazy. Been a while. Anyways, let's check out what these mastery camos look like on the Lapa. This is Gold Viper. You can see the nuts hang perfectly on it, but it looks pretty good. The camo coverage is great. The barrel on it looks really cool, and there's a whole lot of coverage. It's very tasteful. Kind of wish it was on the mag, but it, it kind of looks nice without it. Now, let's check out Plague Diamond. Plague Diamond looking very nice. Everything that was gold becomes the diamond. Everything that was that matte black becomes that nice purple metal. Looking pretty sick. And Dark Aether looks real good on it. The whole body of it is covered. Doesn't seem like it has any different coverages on it than gold, but still pretty good. It has a whole lot of surface area on the gun. Uh, pretty good looking weapon. Let's see what it looks like in game with Dark Aether. All right, here we are on Hijack. Been trying to change up the map every time when we go and look at our camos, but... This is what the Lapa looks like in Dark Aether. This is very, very nice. A real good looking weapon. Our pattern on it isn't that great. I'm going to give it a second. Here we go. We're getting that vibrant color in it now. Ooh, the coverage on this gun is great. I really love how after like the first batch of weapons, like the, the launch weapons, all the DLC weapons had great coverage coming in. Lapa is no exception to that. This gun has a cool design. It's a very unique looking weapon and the camo coverage across it looks great as well. Pretty nice weapon, not gonna lie. Uh, later towards the game, you know, in those later rounds did not help very much. Like it, it was kind of struggling, but early rounds, this thing's a slapper. Anyways, there you have it. We got our lap done. Make sure you leave your suggestion for what weapon you wanna see us do next. Also, leave a suggestion of what melee weapon you want to see us do. I'll throw that comment into the video for the videos I'm scheduling ahead for vacation. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike. If you're new here, please start subscribing, put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. Uh, if you feel like it, head on over to my Twitter, drop me a follow. It'd mean a lot, but uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.